going here and uh, yeah so this is Chris from Draw Hacks. welcome to another BNB MVB applicant demo session please we are today we are very happy to have uh, five amazing projects with us uh, they are Cowboy Snake uh, Soul Launch uh, Le uh, Leonic Corn I owe you know me and Hydroverse. Uh, the BNB and Baby applicants, uh, uh, the, the BNB and Baby uh, applicant program is a virtual project demo session that co hosted by the BNB chain and Dora Hacks. Uh, it doesn't mean that project that show here are already being selected to the MVB program, but it is a great way for high quality project to get more exposure uh, to BNB team and the community. Uh, today, uh yeah so without further ado let's welcome the first uh team uh who is the cowboy snake to start and remember guys if you have any questions during the session please feel free to ask uh you know our youtube chat room and thanks for joining us today feel free to start when you're ready cowboy snake team okay i'm ready <clears throat> okay now i will start to share my green Um, hello everyone, I'm Rosie from Cowboy Snake and uh, today I'm very happy and excited to be here to share with you about Cowboy Snake project. Um, okay, um, and you can see that Cowboy Snake is a game inspired by the snake game that player can control their own snake to eat food and uh, fight with other snakes controlled by other players around the world. And I think this is a very simple operation that anyone can play. And in addition <coughs> to highly entertaining and training a human for player, Cowboy Snake also a game for you to can collect the ring token and other NFT item in game. And this is considered a reward for the player contribution to our ecosystem. <clears throat> so now I will show you the uh, video gameplay demo. So let's take a look. You can easily get a snack on the watch play and open the to start playing the game. They will have a lot of food on the ground for you to eat. And you have to start with the first one. And when you complete the mission in the game, you can earn the mystery box and bring the reward to your next stage. The gameplay is very simple. Okay, let's take a look at our in-game item. Firstly, we have food on the ground for snack to eat, and beside that, we have a lot of uh, key ring token, that means snack gem, and you can convert to uh, to ring token in our second token. And next, we have the XP and FT. You can uh, easily to get it when you earn the mystery box, and you can combine the, the, NF the XP and FT to get the edge, and you can hack the edge to get the snack and snake NFT is our main NFT in game with the total fixed amount 37,500,000 divided into four types, Seron, Lore, Hybra, and Naga with the Seron with the lowest fixed amount. So this will be the scary one. And about the food on the ground, we are on the process to working with the other projects that mean the player when playing our game, they can easily to earn the token of other projects in the future. 
So how to play our game? Firstly, you have to out an, uh, a snack to start playing the game and you can easily buy it on Marketplace and uh, use Rim at a fee to start. And with the reward you earn from the game, uh, firstly, we have the Rim. Uh, you can trade on the pancake swap and other NFT items you can easily trade on Marketplace. About game mode, we divide into four types. Firstly, we start with the free to play, that means the entertainment version. Uh, we provide a free game, a free playroom for all players who want to experience our game with the offline mode. That means a uh, gamer can play anytime and anywhere without internet connection. And I think this is a very interesting version have cowboy snake can attract with the traditional gamer. Um, and next we have the BVE version. With this version, we have to have an NFT to start. And there will be a challenge room for all player uh, play with the other AI snake. And when they complete the mission in game, they can get uh, the reward. And uh, for the higher level, the, we have the BVB. That means player versus player. And it requires more skill to play. We will have the, the quickly ranking for for player to show up their skill. And with the one who get the high score, uh, they can share the treasure. And final one, we have the TVT, AR, and VR. With the TVT tournament, uh, it can be held mainly quarterly or annual in a regional or global scale. That each player can create their own team and recruit the member to challenge the other team in the big tournament. About our target market, you can see that with the traditional uh, snack game, it attracts a lot of players around the world with uh, more than uh, 500 million dollars. And we can see that it's a very huge demand. Uh, it's proved that uh, Cowboy Snake is a very interesting game. And with our beta fest, we attract more than 5,000 player uh, a choice and test our game. About our development plan in what two. Firstly, uh, we will carry out the next INO events to increase player and generate more revenue for the project. Next, we are focused on educating users about our game in uh, not only in crypto market, but also in traditional market. Um, next, we focus on Romo, uh, cooperating with game use, KOL streamer VC to Romo and attract more player in holder. And finally, to building the simple process to, uh, for community to assess our game. Yeah, as you can see in our roadmap, we already finished our ideal alpha test as well as uh, beta test. And now uh, in this month, we will release our BBE madness exactly tomorrow. And uh, in the next few weeks, we will uh, do the IMO phase two as second cow event. Uh, next month, uh, we will release our BBB mobile version at uh, the BBB beta uh, and we plan listing on sex and in May, we will release our BBB madness and organize weekly tournament. And in April, we will organize the first TVT tournament. About our ecosystem token, uh, with Cowboy Snack, uh, we apply two token in our ecosystem based on Binance Smart Chain. With Cow's token, is it the governing token with the total supply 1 billion. And we can use Cow to buy the NFT items on the marketplace and paying the entrance fee for the TVT tournament, farming and voting. With the RIM token, with is the in-game reward token with the total supply is 20 billion. And we can use RIM token for paying the entrance fee of the bedroom in BVE, uh, X combination fee, X hatching fee, feeding snack, and in game reward. 
So finally, let's take a look at our token allocation. Uh, you can see it's very detailed and clearly about our tokenomic and with the team, uh, we take 18% uh, with the vesting 15, uh, with the lockup in 15 months and vesting in 60 months. And you can see that we prove a long-term commitment to develop project and bring to community a good product. So this is our social channel. You can follow us to update the, the latest news from uh, our game. And uh, tomorrow we will launch our madness and hope that uh, you guys can enjoy the game. And thank you so much for your listening. Yeah, thank you very much, Rosie, for the introduction. And uh, looking forward to see you guys Ming, Ming that finally will launch tomorrow. And uh, since last time, uh, it's, uh, there, there are some technical issues about the Cowboy Snake streaming. Uh, it's, it's very glad to see you guys come, came back here and do the a better demo day. Yeah, so congratulations uh, on the progress uh, about your team have achieved so far. <laughs> yeah. Um, Appreciate your time and presentation, and we're gonna we're gonna move to the uh, next project, which is uh, so launch. And Susan, glad to see you again, and feel free to start. Yeah, nice to meet you, Chris. Glad to see you again. Um, now let me just share my screen first. Can everybody see my screen? Yep, yep. Yeah, let me get started. Hello, everyone. My name is Susan. Uh, I am CMO of SoLunch. I'm very happy to be here to present you SoLunch, a launch pad. And uh, I will give you a very brief introduction about our project. So as you can tell from our name, uh, it's so lunch. You can interpret it as so plus lunch or so plus lunch. So um, it's because uh, we are a launch pad. We define ourselves as the first contagious launch pad for DeFi art and games. We encourage our investors to invest early in future trends. So a lot of you may feel confused about what is contagious, right? It's a very unique marketing strategy we use in our ideal platform where people have to invite five friends to double their allocation. So basically it means that no matter who you are, as long as you finish our tasks, you are eligible for our ideal. And uh, the friends can invite their friends too. That is why we called it the first contagious launch pad. Okay, and um, so in a short word, what is SoLunch? SoLunch is a decentralized crowdfunding platform for fundraising across all major crypto networks. When I, saw, when I say all major crypto networks, uh, we currently support four networks. They are Avalanche, Sonana, uh, Ethereum, and BNB Chain. And with this contagious marketing, we have accumulated a lot of uh, initial supporters in the initial stage where we are in right now. So um, let me tell you why do we start so lunch? Um, so before we start so lunch, we did a survey and we collected a bit of data. Uh, this is the data we collected. Um, you can see from here, starting from January 2020 to about uh, May 2021, we can see there's a rapid increasing number of projects start fundraising through IDO, right? And also, uh, because we are developing projects ourselves, so we know some other projects, and we asked them about this, uh, how long does it take for a project to get launched on the IDO platform? And the average answer is normally two to three months. That's a lot of time to wait, right? So we believe that there is a huge market potential for a launch pad. That's why we initiate the launch in the first place. So based on data we connected, we summarized the bottlenecks of the current industry. There are four. The first one is the ideal platform supports either EVM chains or Sonana. That means they don't support EVM chains and Sonana chains at the same time. But in our case, as I mentioned before, we support four chains. Uh, they are 
um, Ethereum, BNB, Avalanche, and Solana, right? So uh, to do this, we introduced more a wider range of um, uh, the high quality products. And then another main point, pain point is long wait list on all ideal platforms. They are waiting a long time and we are trying to solve this problem. And then the next one, probably the most important one, ideal lottery tires that higher barrier. So when I say this, um, I, we, we are doing a lot of survey about other ideal platforms and we realized they set up very complicated uh, roles for all the ideal platform, for all the uh, ideal participants. So for example, they have the lottery system where people have to get, get whitelisted by completing different complicated tasks. And being whitelisted doesn't mean they are necessarily get into an ideal. It doesn't guarantee a spotting ideal. So they have to go through a lottery uh, a competition again. So the number of people who get into ideal is very limited, right? And then there's a tire system where people are divided into different tires and they have to stake different amount of money to get into ideal. But there are people who don't have enough money what do they do in this case, right? Um, it's like when you are playing games, there are always those people who try to go a uh, quick cut and they charge a lot of monies to get to the certain levels. But there are always those people who want to get to the same levels too, but they, they do it in a different way. Like they completing a lot of uh, other tasks, right? So in Sonata's case, uh, we designed these uh, roles which will enable small budget uh, investors also joining our game. Uh, I will explain that later. Now, the next bottleneck is that KYC connects too much private data. I know that a lot of people think that KYC protects the investors in some ways, right? But there are always those people who don't want to release their personal information. So they don't want people to know too much about themselves. I believe they are always those people. So it's kind of um, like a demand, right? And also we believe that being decentralized is a basic principle when we first develop blockchain industry, right? We want everyone to, to be free on this internet world. So these are the four bottlenecks we summoned for the current industry. Now we have our strains based on um, the problems we saw. Uh, first is the contagious marketing, which uh, which got us very initial supporters. We believe through this contagious marketing, we do not only help uh, ourselves get a lot of uh, investors, we also uh, help the ideal projects get a lot of already investors. And also our ideal is not inclusive to our token holders, which means we do not only care about our token holders. We also care about the ideal projects token holders. For example, they don't have to get or hold our native tokens to get into our ideal, as I mentioned, okay? Uh, they can complete several tasks, for example. Uh, so we have, for example, we have NFT giveaway randomly. Uh, if we, we design this role, if they can get five NFTs in total, they will earn a ticket to get into ideal. So by completing these different kind of tasks, these uh, token holders, they do not have to get or hold our tokens, they can also be eligible for the ideal, right? And uh, we support multiple chains, which means we will uh, welcome more high quality projects from different crypto chains. This offers a lot of choice for our investors and then the no KYC. We believe that users' privacy is our priority. Now, uh, apart from, so, um, in terms of the service we provided, in terms of, uh, apart from the ideal, regular ideal services, we also provide NFT lunch. And uh, in a later stage, we will provide an uh, NFT marketplace for these NFT, uh, these NFT projects that launch on our uh, ideal projects. They can also sell their NFTs on our marketplace. So since the launch of Soul Launch, we have, um, uh, we have hit over 10 
thousand valid register website users. Okay, and also we have um, more than fifty thousand Twitter followers and community members through our contagious marketing. Now we're currently in Q1, which uh, we have finished the multi-chain architecture development and we have support, we have finished the support of four chains, which I will show you later in our uh, official website. And then we're heading Q2. In Q2, we will finish the IDO, INO, an IGO smart contract. And also we will launch Slow Launch in Q2. <laughs> and uh, we will support another chain, Polkadot. And then in Q3, we will launch our launch pad. So uh, that is um, something about our launch pad. Now, let me just uh, share you our, let me just show, share you our official website. Okay, guys, can you see my website now? Yep, yep. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is our official website. Uh, this is our logo. And uh, this is where you can invite your friends to get double allocation. And we have our vision, follow next, our competitiveness and our, our talking utility. And uh, let me show you these chains that we support. So before you can see all the projects, you have to log in first and then pass our recapture. Okay, so here comes the most important part. Here is why we say we support uh, multiple chains. Currently, we have three chains available, Solana, Avalanche, and BNB chain. So when you choose the um, chain, the different chains, the corresponding wallet will show up. For example, Solana, Fundum, Avalanche, and this MetaMask, and also BNB. Okay, so this is how you um, will see the projects from different chains from here. Okay, uh, here is where you can invite your friends to get your double allocation. It's like, basically these are very simple tasks. It's like everybody can finish these tasks. So this uh, makes everyone um, eligible for our um, allocation as long as you are a real person and you invite real friends. You can check your referrals record, friends account and registration time from here. Okay, uh, that's pretty much uh, about my presentation. Hi. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, I'm back. Uh, thank you for the presentation, uh, Susan. It's uh, very nice to see you again here. And uh, um, yeah, so uh, definitely a very interesting one that trying to, you know, uh, bring some new stuff into the launchpad sector. Yeah, so um, I guess uh, I don't, I don't, because I, I have already uh, met you guys before, so I don't have like many uh, comments or questions here. Everything is pretty clear to me and uh, looking forward to see uh, your next steps for the uh, project. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Susan, and appreciate your time and presentation. And uh, we're going to move to the next pr project, which is the... Um, yeah, it's a little bit hard for me to pronounce it. Uh, it's um, Leonic, uh, Leonic, yeah. Leonic, on, Leonic on swap. Yep, yep. Okay, let me, let me share my screen. So uh, this is Mufasa Hussain, CEO and founder of Leonic on swap. So the Leonicon sub is the first uh, decentralized exchange uh, with all those major soft features like uh, swap, staking, farming, launch pad, lottery, and the prediction market. Also, we are recently thinking to launch a revenue sharing model. So all the DEX revenue, what revenue we will make, we will uh, share it uh, with our investors. Uh, with a gamify system and let me show you uh, we launched our decks back in uh, 2021 october and so far uh, we reached this goal uh, 
also we launch uh, two projects on our launch pad and we added uh, several partners project on our caves also we have uh, a big community on our social medias we have a 103k telegram member almost like uh, 220 uh, 230 k followers on twitter also 15k subscriber on youtube and 5k on our discord community so how we started our journey uh, we started our journey in uh, 2021 q1 and uh, we launched our token sale on q2 and we started our decks on q3 and so far we hit almost all the roadmap we have a full functional uh, dex live and recently we are thinking to launch our gamify hub uh, and also our nft marketplace so let me show you our product so this is our uh, decentralized exchange let me show you uh, this is our decentralized exchange and here you can swap or add liquidity this is our farming farm so here is all our yield farming uh, pairs and this is our staking pool currently there is uh, several staking pool is live on leonicon Swap. recently we added a uh, binance launchpad project gmt on our staking pool also there are several metaverse project on our staking pool we also develop uh, another locked staking on our uh, decentralized exchange which is here and we have also we have also two tokens which is uh leon and leos leos is our governance token so for example when we take any kind of major decision like uh we want to do any kind of uh igo or id on our decks our investors take decision with the leos and leon is our decentralized exchange token so all all the decks function uh run on leon and we all also uh launch two projects on our launch pad and we successfully raised the funds we almost nearly raised a half million dollar for those projects here is our prediction market uh you can predict the bnb price and get reward in uh, bnb also we have a lottery system on our disk which is also live and let me show you uh, all our asset listed on our decks currently. And we have some very good partners like we are already listed on CoinGecko. Also, we have a coin market cap as our marketing partner. We have a chain link as our partner. Uh, we use the chain link to develop our lottery to develop our uh, prediction market. We also contribute in the Binance charity system. And there are several partners we have right now. And uh, Aravinda will uh, share you our future plan. We recently changed our whole direction because everyone is uh, building the same kind of uh, pro uh, like projects like swap, staking, farming, so we we thinking to build something unique and build something uh, like we can share all our dex revenue with a gamified system so that when users will play any game in our dex they will get a dividend token and those dividend token if you hold those dividend token you will get reward uh, from our den for example uh, let me introduce you our dividend token. It's named Cups. So, for example, you are buying a NFT from our NFT marketplace. So you are getting some Cups from us. For holding those Cups, you will get uh, revenue or revenue sharing from our DEN. So this is our DEN. This is the main vault. So all the DEX revenue will come to vault each and every single day 
it can be we for example we if we sell any kind of nft the re, the nft fund will comes to the den if anyone play any kind of game on our uh, decentralized exchange the fees will comes to the den also uh, for example the lottery uh, reward will comes to then from uh, also the soft fees also comes to then if we make any kind of revenue from the launch pad it will comes to then and each and every single day 2.5% uh, from the revenue will come goes to the cup holders also 2.5% will comes to our treasury wallet which we will use to buy back marketing or events uh, our decks also we will spend it on the development of our decks and let me show you some so this is our den for example there is a uh, 1 million dollar uh, blocked in our den so 2.5% is 25k 25k from den will goes to the cups holder and 2.5% will uh, goes to our treasury wallet and we already uh, launched this lottery and prediction on our uh, exchange and we are also building some dice game and we are already working on it and we will uh, launch our dice game i think uh in the q2 i think next month we will launch our whole dividend system on our decks so everyone can play those uh games on our decks and get the cups and if they hold the cups they will get uh reward each and every single day from our den and we are also developing our nft marketplace where users can not only just buy or sell their nfts they can also mean their nfts and it will be a multi-chain nft marketplace we will start uh, with the bsc later on we will uh, explore ethereum or other uh, chains and this is a very unique feature which is called loot box so uh, it, it's our flagship uh, product uh, with our uh, dividend system and each and every day investors can make their own loot box for example if they want to give away uh, anyone or if they want to give away nft they can make this loot box and with this loot box uh, anyone can earn any amount and i'm the ceo and founder scott is the cmo and aravinda is our cto who have some huge experience in the product development uh, he's a former employee of uh, nokia and uh, many big companies and recently uh, we are working really hard uh, to launch our dividend system which is pretty unique from the rest of the exchanges because everyone, uh, if you take a look uh, last few months, everyone is making similar kind of product, but no one is focusing on something unique. So that's why we're thinking to build something unique. And with this unique system, we will not only give reward to our users and investors, but also share the tax revenue with our users. It will help us to burn a huge amount of token also uh, in long term our investors will get each and every single day dividend uh, from our decks and thank you for uh, to this presentation and if, if you guys have any kind of question you just ask me <clears throat> yeah uh, thank you very much uh, Morf uh for for the presentation and uh actually i move reach out me reach out to me earlier today and uh to you know uh promote his uh project so we can see uh, he's really passionate about what that about the things he's building right now so definitely a very uh very uh, nice things to have i believe for all the early stage project team and uh, yeah, uh, I mean, the, I'm really looking forward to see how you guys move to the next step. And uh, 
Thank you very much for your time today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thanks. And uh, we're going to move to the next project, which is the IO Unami. Uh, Stan? Awesome. You can see my screen now? Yep. Yep. So as I was saying, we, um, we're a platform uh, called IOU, and we're concentrating initially on micro, small, and medium-sized transactions. Um, and we are a platform that where people have money, they make money, they uh, for themselves and for for the people's money by and for the people. Um, and economics, they say, is the study of scarcity, and we believe we live in a world of abundance. And so we have an example here. We have Alice. She's a young woman, and she wants a haircut, but she doesn't have money. She doesn't have fiat. But Alice has talents. She has a lot of abilities, and she's a designer. So Bob, who provides these beautiful haircuts, he, he wants his uh, salon redesigned. And so he agrees to take uh, an IOU from Alice. And so he performs a, a wonderful haircut for Alice. She's very happy with it. And Alice gives her a token, gives um, Bob a token. And this token is... Um, you know, that she'll, she'll uh, redesign his hair salon in the future. And so what the IOUs are are promissory notes that are tokenized that anybody can issue anytime, anywhere, and they're backed by goods and services of each and every individual that they can back a promissory note with their goods and services and use them to trade in a peer-to-peer -peer manner. And they, IOUs can be used instead of money. They're private currency that can be used again instead of money issued by anyone, anytime, anywhere. And the reason why we're starting with the micro transactions and the small transactions are we have today, um, I'm sure well over a billion people who are not banked. The last records really um, of this um, that were compiled were in 2017, where you had 1.7 billion who are unbanked um, out of that 1.7 billion who are unbanked, about 1 billion of them just didn't have enough money to enter into the financial system. And then you had about 1.3 billion people who live on less than $2 a day. And so now, you know, the last couple of years have been very difficult with COVID and the lockdowns and shutdowns and supply chain uh, difficulties that we're sure these numbers are, are much higher right now. And so... Alice now, she got this haircut. She issued Bob a token, an IOU, a promissory note that she was going to redesign his hair salon. And she does redesign his hair salon and she does a wonderful job. And so she keeps on doing this wonderful job for, for different people. And word is getting around that Alice um, is a very good designer and people are accepting her tokens because they know she's a good designer. And time goes on and she now needs to create her own uh, design studio because she has so much business. But you know, she still doesn't have fiat or she doesn't have money that's you know, issued uh, by banks, but she has this talent. She's filled with abundance and the community recognizes that and they give her a good rating each and every time she performs her service because she does it very well. So the community can give someone a good reputation if they earn it, and they can also support them by acting as a surety um, to the good actors in the community. So it's a very socially orientated community-based money is what it is. So now Alice wants to open up her salon, but again, she doesn't have money, but her previous clients that she had issued tokens to and performed good service for, they can back her up and she can negotiate deals with them, whether they own a piece of her salon, so they become partners with her, or she provides more tokens you know, that they can use in the future or whatever deal they strike. And so these other people who want to help Alice, they put up their tokens also. So maybe an attorney, she 
Alice had redesigned an attorney's office. So he puts up, you know, his token, several um, hours of attorney work as a token. And, and the accountant does the same thing. And of course, um, Bob, who is the, uh, who has the hair salon, who got a great service from Alice, also puts up his tokens. And so they all put tokens up for Alice so she can get a loan or she can get supplies or other things. And these um, other tokens that people in the community are putting up on Alice's behalf act as a surety so that Alice will perform what she needs to do. Um, also, if Alice gets a very big design job and you know she may have to put up like a bond, like she may not have a bond, people in the community can also put up their tokens and act as a bond. And so IOU, the platform itself, um, gets a small transaction fee for each of the uh, transactions that are made, these little um, micro transactions. And then if the actual loans are used, where there's a surety, IOU gets a 5% fee for arranging all of this. And that's how the platform itself makes money. So here's, you know, um, a, a diagram of how you know, it would walk you through how it would actually work. So Alice would issue her token and it will show you later on a, a little more in depth. Uh, she, again, she negotiates with different um, backers of hers that she has done business with in the past or know that she has such a good reputation. You know, the community has backed her up. They've given her a good reputation because she provides good work and others in the community want each of the different members to succeed. So they may come in and assist and help her. And so um, Alice is able to now qualify for a loan or qualify for a larger job of the acting as a bond. Now the market here is huge. Um, we'll just go to the service adjustable market, which is on the bottom. It's, it's a 200, it's a, I'm sorry, $28 billion market. And we're hoping to get a good piece of that. And again, I'm sure it's much larger. Uh, these numbers are from a couple of years ago. And so we have a, a market strategy of going to the following countries listed here first, because we have uh, contacts there. And um, the, the real place we want to start is in South Africa with the United African Blockchain Association. Um, as far as marketing, we are going to different uh, blockchain associations and education centers who we believe and so far have been supporting our project and wanted to succeed and want to help people. And they believe it's a very good use for the blockchain, um, what we're doing here. And so with the United Africa Blockchain Association, we have a pilot program lined up with them. They, ha they have an agreement with um, the RSA, the Republic of South Africa and in turn came to us to institute blockchain in a positive manner for um, South Africans. And in South Africa, they have indigent populations, which we plan to um, hopefully uh, have them use IOUs. And so IOUs are addressing a market initially that's ignored, which are micro transactions. Uh, right now, really, nobody's servicing them. Banks have no interest in them. And it's a ignored market that it needs to be serviced more now than ever, especially, like I said, after two very rough years of uh, COVID lockdowns. And here's our team. Um, as you, you see, Stan is part of the team. He's in Russia. Um, our other co-founder is in the Ukraine. And uh, we know there's a lot of problems right now between Russia and Ukraine, but you know, we believe we're all brothers and sisters and the project itself is geared to foster that, to foster brotherhood and sisterhood by making direct trades, peer-to-peer -peer trades uh, with each other. And I, I'm located in the United States. I'm calling in from Florida. Uh, our other co-founder is uh, originally from Honduras and so now she's in California. Um, and like I said, we have a partnership with the United Africa Blockchain Association and that's where we want to start off. Um, representing us in South Africa are Henry Thompson. Um, Henry has a lot of experience in dealing on a government level 
and also with NGOs uh, with profit, but and a lot of non-for-profit um, type projects. He has an orphanage there and his son is also helping us there. They're on the ground with the United Africa Blockchain Association where we want to start off. Um, here's our roadmap and we've accomplished, as you can see in the bottom, um, um, in Rapistan on, on testnet, um, we have a, an app that's just about ready for Android and we have the smart contracts prepared. Um, and you can see the links there below. And, um, you know, we're at the point now where we just um, have simplified our technology and ready to, to implement it again in South Africa. And so here's what we are looking to do. Um, in South Africa is launch our MVP and um, and work with the United Africa Blockchain Association and also um, with the uh, South African government. Uh, Stan, you want to share and show uh, the latest updates you did, please? Yeah, awesome. Zoltan, thank you uh, for the presentation. Yeah. Yes, uh, let, let me show get, screen, let me, uh, okay. let me Let me get off my screen here. And uh, now you press switch off here. Yeah? Hold on a second. Why it's not cooperating with me right now? I don't know. Uh, in, in Zoom, please. Yeah. Release, release screen. Did I get rid of it or no? Yeah. Uh, oh, How's awesome. That? Okay. Okay. So a uh, few minutes from me, please. <clears throat> so uh, especially for uh we with binance uh, especially for hackathon we made some uh pivot and try to implement our, our uh, technology on uh, vnb testnet yeah you have to, uh, you have to fix that up again uh, uh do you see my screen yeah yeah but we have the you have the pitch stack up you want to show the um you want to show them what you were working on I'm yes, a few words about uh, freelancers here. Yeah? And we look for freelancer market. Uh, and you can see Alice and Bob. Uh, uh, Alice became a freelancer online. Bob goes to London. And how can we work now? Uh, we have a problem because Bob and Alice don't own their profiles on platforms and totally depends on their politics, can be striked, blocked on any reason on freelance platforms. And they can use our IOU uh, decentralized application as decentralized portfolio or social fi reputation money. So they can issue away IOU token and uh, collect portfolio on this token as reputations, as maybe uh, feedbacks from clients. Uh, so uh, freelancers world is not a small world, it's really one uh, hundred million people around the world and it grows up to 50 persons till to 2027 and it's really not big but normal market near three or billions uh, dollar uh, in the 19 to 2090 2090 sorry and real growth okay let's go and launch our application uh uh, it's uh, deployed on BSC testnet. Uh, we can get some test money for testing. Uh, now uh, we can use. Uh, uh, so I um, uh, issued some token. One token, just a moment. I switch into another account. Uh, okay, we have. We have uh, little BNBs. Oh, Jesus. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we are testing now. Uh, okay. And I, I assured my own IOU token. Uh, I can uh, change some uh, data, like uh, enter new phone, like enter new uh, description. For example, uh, as consultant of smart contracts, I can add, for example, some leverage, например, uh, polka dot, so substrate, yeah, substrate, and it uh, have to be updated on chain. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Uh, I can found my uh, I owe you by keyword. Yes, uh, uh, and the next step now we're working on integration with Pancake Swap to buy and sell IOUs is uh, just in the working. Also, so the main aim of this application is to give IOUs to another people. So uh, anybody, Alice, Bob, or me, or Jordan, or Chris can issue an IOU and pay with this IOU for any services exchange with IOUs, like really as promising notes. So, for, for example, I take go to IOU, enter. Oh, maybe my maybe Jordan. Oh, sorry, Ethereum address. I I I I send to Jordan my IOUs. Yes. So I, I will just interrupt one second. I would say that I'm not that technical. Uh, my job and my function is the business side of things. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Stan is the development side. He's made it so um, simple and easy for virtually anybody to use. As long as, as long as they can open up the application, they can see it. It's very easy. So, Jordan, can you send me your uh, address again? Or no? It's okay. Um, give me one second. Just a moment, I am entering into WhatsApp. Mm, oh, snow down. So, all right, so where, where am I sending to you, Stan? And the message is here. Hold on one second. Just a moment, yeah. I have early morning in Moscow. It's really uh, six o'clock a.m. I'm drinking a lot of coffee, but still not awake. <laughs> so everyone sees my address and they want to send me all different tokens. Feel free. <laughs> Stan, you have it there. I put it. Um, I put it in the chat in um, on Zoom. Here, I can put it there too. Yeah, here is address of Jordan, and also we can. Send to Jordan. Thank some you. I will use. So uh, it's very simple. And okay, sending. So after this, uh, when when Jordan opens uh, this application, this with our D app, uh, he can see my OUs and he can pay off this. Uh, he he can rate me. Uh, for, for, for example, uh, I, I can send to my another address. Uh, if you have few means, for example, here. And I send another one I will you. Just one. Sorry. Uh, so I think I think that people get the gist of what it is, how it works, Dan. Okay. Just a moment. It's really lost. Okay, and uh, when we change our account uh, for another, go to a payoff section, waiting for some minutes. Uh, we can see IOU token here that give it for us. But given for us, oh, sorry, some technical problems. Oh, Jesus. 
Okay, and we can write this, we can pay off this, so we can make some IOONOMI, uh, P2P exchange economy uh, that can help people to uh, obtain some money in the world that can help freelancers to work with clients. So, okay, thank you. Yeah, and this is all compatible with Binance. Thank you very much. Yeah, yes, we are on testnet of Binance and ready to deploy to mainnet. Thank you, Chris. Uh, got it. Got Thank it. You. Thank you, Stan and Jordan, for the uh, for for the for the show and presentation about the whole project. And uh, the the topic is definitely very uh, inspiring uh, to support to support the the people who can, who might not be able to apply for credit credit can get some loan uh, through a decentralized way. And also the 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 the, the team is also very inspiring. Uh, I think, yeah, definitely very worth uh, to looking forward and expand in the future. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Peter. And uh, we're going to move to the last but not, not the least project today, uh, which is the Hydroverse. Hydroverse. Yeah. Feel free to start when you're ready. Uh, you, you need to unmute yourself first. Okay. Hello. I'm going to share my screen now. Can, I, can everyone see it? Yes, yes. Yes, so hello everyone who is watching the presentation today. Nice to meet you here and I'm Jerry, the Global Business Manager of Pyrobus. I would like to spend to send a warm thanks to Dora Hex and Binance Live for giving Hyreverse the chance to introduce ourselves today. And let's get started to know more about Hyreverse. Let me walk you to Hyreverse, the play to earn game. NFT, racing, AR, VR. What if we combine these top trendy stuff together? We have Hyreverse. So what is Hyreverse? Hyreverse is a metaverse play to earn dragon racing game in which user can have several financial opportunity with the NFT dragons. In Hydraland, players are involved in a wide range of exciting activities. Hyreverse combine NFT with AR, VR technology in hope of creating the best satisfaction for our players. Let's have a full picture of Hydraland through the video I'll show you now. So in our marketplace, not only NFTs category will be available for sale on the market, but also the token swapping will be established. Our beta players can already convert their decoy and in-game token to our governance token and enjoy their earning after days of training, raising their NFT dragons. As I already have mentioned, Hyreverse contains a lot of different activities built around our NFT dragons, which are breeding, training, AR, VR, racing, NFT market, staking, and renting. We are currently launching our beta version with some main features, such as Hyra Park or NFT staking, training dragon, offline racing, and Fitting Dragon. Hyderpark, NFT staking is a place where you display your NFT dragon and earn decoy. 
which valuable dragon you can earn up to more than 100 decoy a day, which equivalent five USD a day. Feeding. This one is a new feature in our game, which allows taking care of your NFTs and increasing your NFT stats in order to grow your winning chances. And the most concerned topic of Hyraverse is racing game. We have launched the offline racing game in our beta version, and it can already play to earn. The real-time racing, which you will play with your friend and use your skill, will be soon implemented in quarter three, 2022. Users can earn directly from the offline racing by setting their decoy or earning cups. The fourth, the fourth feature will be dragon training. You may have tried Temple Run or Spreadway Suffer, so at least so you will find high reverse training dragon is addictive, addictive and easy to play. Player will train their dragon to gain the speed and win the race. Each dragon in high reverse can be represented in reality via AR feature. Player can click on the dragon and show the view in reality through the camera. This this is one of the AR video from our users. In a time when game fee and metaverse are blooming, Hyraverse needs to make a difference. So what make Hyraverse stand out from all other play to earn game? We have not only adopted the essence of NFT games, but also incorporated significant improvement into it. These include the 3D design of NFT, high quality AR VR experience, play to earn racing game with a brand new mecha earning mechanism. As you can see above, we focus more on the gameplay and user experience than just a click to earn game. We believe this difference can make high of us one of a kind play to earn game in this field. So we're going to move on to the roadmap of Hyraverse. We are currently at the stage, at this stage of our roadmap, which means we have completed the game launch, community building, and token listing. Now we'll be heading toward the product development, where we release more features such as new racing model, branding system, Hyracup scholarship, and VR technology. I would like to introduce Hyraverse tokenomic here. Hyraverse has two tokens. HGV is our governance token and decoy stable, stable token is our in-game token. The first, the first one is about HGV. It can use to swap into decoy, the in-game token, to buy Dragon X in mainnet, trading for items on marketplace, or joy staking joining farming pools on our agencies. When you swap your HGV to decoy in-game token, you will use decoy in mostly every activity in the game, from buying ticket, buying ticket to race, buying energy to train your dragon, set decoy in offline racing to directly earn high NFT or feeding and breeding your dragons. Here is the HGB token allocation. If you might want to take a quick look, then I'm going to move on to the next part as we don't have a lot of time left. Obviously, every achievement has become a memorable milestone for Hyraverse. We're proud to share what we have accomplished until now. Hyraverse has successfully built a strong, big and healthy community together with six local communities. User talking about the NFT dragons and about the game gameplay all day long in our Telegram chat. All together, we have been we have been experimenting two alpha versions, and luckily to know how Hyraverse is loved by our player. As you can see, in Alpha Test One, we have reached nearly two thousand players, but in Alpha Test Two, we have we have we have welcomed almost 
4,000 dragon trainers. So when you enter Harvest, you might ask, how much do we need to invest? What is Harvest return of investment? I'm here to show you some significant decoy that has been earned in beta version two from our top five earners. Do you want to know how they make it to more than 2,000 USD after just 12 days of beta version? Well, you only need one NFT to join our game and buy it out yourself. After having support from our community, HDB token would was listed on Get.io and PancakeSwap on the 10th of March. We, have, we now have 6,500 token holders and 9 million trading volume after just 70 hour, 72 hours of listing. To get this result, we, we would like to dedicate the last part to say thank to our team and partner who have supported Hyderabad from the early stage, include all four, um, all four mighty advisors and 33 backers and network of more than 100 KOL to spread Hyderabad to the community, together with 12 Game Guild partners that have decided to join our play to earn beta version and run their scholarship program for Hyderabad. Last but not least, thanks to our core team and Hyderabad community who have been contributed to the project together with few Hyderabad. Our, beta, our play to earn beta version three will be launched on the 23rd this month. We hope to see you all there. And thanks for listening till the end of Hyderabad's presentation. Join our family and experience this unique game yourself. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for the presentation. Uh, this looks really funny uh, game and also uh, very uh, glad to see that there are so many achievements you have uh, down so far after a very short time listing on the uh, centralized exchange. Yeah, congratulations about all the milestone and achievements. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I guess that's it for today. Uh, thank you very much, uh, guys, for all the amazing presentation and also appreciate your time to attending the uh, project demo sessions. Uh, yeah, and we have a series of uh, events like today's uh, in the following days. And uh, if you haven't followed us on YouTube, please make sure you do that so you won't miss out any of the events like today's. And uh, hope you guys are all doing great. And the good luck on the next steps for, for, for your guys' projects. And uh, happy building in the future. Yeah, thanks for joining us again. And have a good one, guys. See you soon. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Bye. Thank you. Bye everybody. Bye.